no tengo el PlayStation acá. Eh, Martin Bravillo. Bravito. Hey, man. Simon. Mm, no hay señal de Simon por aquí. Eh, Bastian Castillo. Oye, Bastian no lo veo hace... Bueno, no, creo que una vez se conectó. ¿Lo han visto en otras clases, chiquillo? ¿Marbasti? No. No, chamble. No. ¿Y ahora casó? ¿Y si casó? Ah, está de viaje. Está de viaje, ya bueno, entonces. Pongo aquí. De viaje. Ya, Thomas Rodrigo. Thank you. Presente aquí de. Ya, eh, Domino Pizza. Hey, Camila Corte. Isidora García. Yep. Luciano Raúl. Luciano Raúl. Creo que se saltó uno. Ay, ¿qué era Castillo? ¿Cuál? Eh, no sé, pero vi como que iba descoordinado. No, no, no. Lo dije, sí, estoy seguro. Sí, todo. Álvaro. Álvaro Guerra. Alvarado. Yeah, thank you. Mary Jesus. Mary Jesus. Yeah. Mirai Hernández. Oh, Mirai. Te estoy esperando, Mirai. Anaís Geraldo. Presente. Aquí ver, pues, Ignacio. Aquí te quiero. Aquí te quiero. Benjamin Kinex. Your teacher. Hey, Martina Miranda. Uh -huh. Anaís Molquira. Hi, teacher. Hey, Anaís. M&M. 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 No, confirmado no está. Eh, Ignacio Muñoz, Nacho Muñoz, eh, hello, Javi never writes. Hey, Javi, Nachira. Presente. Oh, Nachira. Vicente Palomaster. No Palomaster, Flow Flow. I think I Here, it. morning. Ah, that was your voice, yes. So, yes. <laughs> Are you in Vicuña or Mazarena? In Vicuña. No. Oh, did people start classes in Vicuña? No, they didn't. No, they not, yet. not yet. Uh, not yet. Yeah. Oh, you want to go back? Mm, yes. Uh, well, probably not this year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Exactly. Yeah. And Isidora Castillo told me that she was traveling, so she can connect. Mm -hmm. Come in. Yes. Yes. I put here a note. De viaje. Oh, all right. Thank you, Flosilla. Fernandita. Fernandita. Ah, yes. Palulas. Palula. No, Palula. Benjamin Rojas. Hi, teacher. Oh, Pepita. Valentina. Yes. Lucas. Lucas Tobilo. Yeah. Martin Toribios. Morning. Morning, Vale. Uh, Benjamin Towers. Present teacher. El mismo. Encho Torriani. Enzo. Presente. Oh, Enzo. Alejandra. ¿Qué de Alejandra? ¿Saben algo de ella? Está bien. <coughs> Hello, Simon. Eh, Simón, mío, por acá. ¿Alguien sabe de la Alejandra? Ahí te puse presente, Simon. Nadie sabe de la Alejandra. No, hace rato no me aparece. Eh, Leonard. 
Yes, and Mela. Mela. No Mela. Yeah, no Mela. All right, and what about M&M? &M? <clears throat> M &M? It should be 30. M&M? &M? Oh, she can't speak. Ah, there you are. Yes, good. All right, so there you go. Uh... <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the morning energy. M and M ready. All right, perfect. We good. Good to go. All right, let's first begin with that first activity. So what we're gonna do today is uh, first of all, let me go to my agenda, to our agenda. Let's make it big. Mm. Let's make it big. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, goody. So what we're gonna do today is connected to we're gonna have a short review of a previous class. And, and that's connected to the past perfect and the past simple together. And then we're gonna have a listening practice focused on hobbies, a bit of comprehension, and to continue with more vocabulary in those are collocations of illness. All right, today I have some phrases, more than words, some everyday English phrases that can prove very useful for you someday. Uh, these are the ones that I have on my left, and let's start with the first one, no biggie. What do you think no biggie means? If you, can, if you make a mistake, and you say, no, un gran problema. Yes, it's, oh, sorry, my bad. No, no worries, no biggie. So no biggie means no big problem. Yes, no biggie. Good. It's like saying no worries. Okay, no worries. Like, yeah, no worries. Uh, my bad, if you say my bad. No, it's okay. When you say my bad, what does it mean? Something like my fault. My fault. Yes. Like an apology? Yeah, like, a, like, a, like an apology, yes. For example, you broke something and you say, oh, my bad, sorry. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Have you heard this one? Beg your pardon. Okay, let's say that Jonas is buying something at the shop and the shopkeeper says, uh, this is a la, 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 thousand. And Jonas like, huh? So Jonas says, sorry, beg your pardon? And the person says, ah, yes, yeah, sorry, um, it's 25,000. So what do, you, what do you think beg your pardon means? Or what do we use it for? To ask someone to repeat? Yes. So or it, to say it again? I don't know. It's like, can you repeat? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? Also, some people use uh, the following thing. Uh, what say? Or say again? Obviously, please. It's okay. Australian, right? Beg your pardon? I mean, yes. Uh, I've seen it in a lot of places. Uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of play, but yeah, probably more in Australia. Beg your pardon. Beg your, ah, sorry. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon? Or why say? What say? What say? Me gusta más porque muy corto y vagan. Sorry, what say? Sorry, say again? Eso es muy útil porque hay cosas que uno no, no alcanza a pillar por any motivo. Okay, have a good one. What does it mean? Hey, have a good one. Thank you. You too. Have a good day. Yes, have a good day. Or a nice day. Have a nice day. Yes, yeah. the first time that someone told me that, I was like, have a good what? Have a good, have a good one, but what? 
and I came back home and I asked them, have a good one, have a good day. Ah, have a good one, have a good day. So it makes, it makes sense. Uh, not my cup of tea. Es que no es de tu gusto. Yes, not my no cup of tea. Not my time. So for example, yeah, football is not my cup of tea, to be honest, so I'd rather play basketball. Can you see what I'm writing, by the way? I'm, I'm always curious about that. Yes, we can. Ah, yeah, good. And uh, call it a day. If you call it a day, let's say that you're working in a project or something in the class, and it's about time, and the teacher says, all right, people, let's call it a day. We're going to check next class. You can leave. Bye-bye. Let's call it a day. Terminar por hoy? Yes. Yes. So that's all for today. Let's call it a day. It's really useful, okay? Like, uh, sorry, mom, I'm calling it a day. I'm finished, okay? Uh, next time. All right. So those are the expressions. Everyday English in this case. All right? There you go. <clears throat> so I got some recommendations. I'm not going to go into the website itself, but Anglophonia. Anglophonia is a YouTube channel that shows a lot of English culture, specifically British. So people who are interested in British culture and some nice facts about it in a fun way. Anglophonia is very cool. You can learn lots, lots of new words in there. The other one is a website called The Anime. Yes, yes, The Anime. It's a good website full of anime series. Then my next recommendation is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is a film. You can find it in Cuevana, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. If you like comic books, if you like music, and if you like video games, this is your movie. It's really good, to be honest. And if you if you want to have fun for a bit or get distracted, uh, it's a good film. Scott Pilgrim versus the World, and it's also a comic book. I think Mr. Peter, Peter, did you have? I think you had a comic book from Scott Pilgrim, did you? Uh, no, it was Palominos. Ah, Palomaster had a comic book from. Ah, makes sense. Good, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so yeah, it's a comic book as well. It's really cool, by the way. I just read um, the first one. Anyway, it was cool. Uh, my next recommendation is a YouTube channel called Tasty. Tasty is a YouTube channel focused on cooking. Cooking in an easy way. So all the recipes are like two minutes and it's fun, it's good. And also you can learn some cooking verbs. So that's what better than that. And also some cooking utensils that sometimes we don't know how to call them. And finally, my last recommendation is an anime called Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Have you watched it? Yes. Oh, Nakita, you watched it. Okay. So, what can you say about it? Is it good? Nakita. Muy bueno. Demasiado. Demasiado buena. So, if you like anime, I think Full Metal Alchemist is a must. It's a must watch. A must watch. Okay, that's another expression that we could use. It's a must. In this case, it's a must watch. If you don't like anime, but you are interested in good story, Full Metal Alchemist, man, man, it's crazy. I think some people have sometimes uh, a lot of prejudices towards anime and they don't watch them because all oh, the Japanese, they're for girls. Oh, they're for boys, little boys. And they don't watch them, but I think if, if this anime, Full Metal Alchemist, where, like a, like the Avatar, for example, like an American uh, or European animated series, it will be so, so, so much popular than, than Full Metal Alchemist. Damn, the story's good. Jonas, did you watch it? Jonas, have you watched it? Uh, yes. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Domino, have you watched it? What? Full Metal Alchemist. Domino, where are you? You're oh, in see. another planet. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not seeing 
haven't seen it. But I want to see. Yeah, stop. Stop watching yo-yos and come on. Es que ahora estoy viviendo Fire Force. Está muy bueno. Ah. Well, if you have the time, go and watch Full Metal Alchemist. It's on yeah. Netflix. It's on Netflix for free. So there sí, you go. Sí, mi hermano, yo queremos verlo ahí porque mi hermano ya se lo vio, pero quiere que lo vea yo. Yeah, absolutely. It's really good. All right. We're going to stop now with our <clears throat> things for the day. Well, oh, this is for another class. Sorry. I'm going to erase this. And we're going to move now to reviewing, okay? Reviewing. Let me go back. We're going to review now. <clears throat> A short review from the previous class. <clears throat> Last class, we were talking about, uh, well, we talked about hobbies, and also we started talking about this structure called the past perfect. And we practice a bit, but it's time to go and practice a bit more. Okay, let's go. Uh, we have here an online practice, so we can <clears throat> refresh the previous class. So it says, put the verbs in the correct form, the past perfect, obviously. So the stone destroyed the sandcastle that we had built. We had built. Okay, I'm going to focus on the first sentence. This one. The stone destroyed the castle, sand castle that we had built. Right. Uh, question. Is this sentence in present or past of the future? People. Uh, Present? Yes, Avial, Avial. Vamos a ver si me funciona con este curso. <coughs> Yo lo más seguro es que sí, ustedes son muy buenos. Let's see, let's see. And someone said present, so let's have a look at that. Ah, porque está pegada. Ah, ya volvió. What if I don't want any background? All right, let's choose a student. <clears throat> Tomás Rodrigo, excelente. Tomás Rodrigo, uh, is this in the present, the past, or the future? Present, past, or future? Tomás Rodrigo. Hello. Present. Ah, yeah. Tenemos ahí el Leo también no dijo present. Well, this sentence is in the past, okay? Okay, this sentence is in the past. Actually, all of them are in the yes, past. Yes, was my bad. Ah, good. Sorry. Good expression. So the storm destroyed the sandcastle that we had built. So everything is in the past. Everything is in the past. Good. Now, uh, we have two. We have two structures. What are the names of the two structures that we have here participating together? We have two things. We have this one. And we have this one. What are the names? Uh, Camila Isidora. Ah, como que se me quedó pegado. Ya, yeah, fin. Lo voy a cerrar mejor. Ya. Yeah. Yes, past simple and past perfect. Yes, we have here past simple in red. Past simple. The storm destroyed. And with blue, I'm going to be, sorry about that. Past perfect. Past perfect. So now, the question is, what, what event or what action happened first? <clears throat> the storm destroyed or we built the, the sandcastle? We built the sandcastle. Yes, so this is first always 
and the storm destroyed is the second event. Okay, if we understand that, all the rest is easy peasy. Okay, first event past perfect, second event past simple, and uh, and the structure is just simple. Okay, it, the structure you study it and that's it. Now let's complete this one to refresh. Uh, let's call let's call Barbies for the number two. He to Cape Town before 1997. He eh, negative de had or no? Hadn't. Yeah. Hadn't, yes, he hadn't. Eh, y el B. PP. Ah, oh, no, PP. Been. He hadn't been. He hadn't been to Cape Town before 1997. Yes, good. So what we have is the negative. We use haven't, hadn't, hadn't, and the, the verb goes in PP2. Also in the questions. Yeah, let's continue now with uh, Giddy Girl. When she went out to play, she do already her homework. Giddy Girl. I exit the Giddy Girl. Por aquí. Los que quieren participar en el chat, participen, porque siempre los voy mirando. And let's do Javi, Javi Navarrete. Let's continue using the past. Perfect. Uh, all right, we have here an idea. Um, yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. Anyone else participating? I have here Miss Valentina with a good answer. All right, so we had, she had already done homework. That's the correct answer. So if she went out of the play, she had already done the, um, the homework. Fue a jugar y ya había hecho la tarea. Good. All right, Javi Navarrete, this one then. My brother ate all the cake that our mom my brother ate all the cake that my mom had made. Oh, very good, Jonas and Miss, ha Miss Navarrete had made. Very nice. Goody, continue participating on the chat. I like that, please. Uh, the doctor took off the plaster that he had. Peter? That he... That had he, Buddha that he had put on. The verb put is put, put, put. So we have that one in the same place. Uh, m and M, Martina. The waiter brought a drink that... m and M. The rest can participate on the chat. Remember that. Yeah, Martina, yeah. That I hadn't. Me falta algo. And the verb, Martina? Ah, yes. Ordered. Perfect. That's good. Well, this is a very good example. Uh, the waiter brought a drink that I hadn't ordered. Trajo algo que no habíamos pedido. Entonces, primero pedimos y después lo trajo. Yeah, bien, 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 bien. Good, I like that. Let's continue now with another person. Uh, Luciano, I could not remember the poem we, the week before. Yes, Javi, good. Keep participating. More people. Participate. Así le puedo dar feedback y le puedo decir que está bueno, está malo. Yes, flow. Nice. Good, 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 good. So we have the answer here as well. Had learned. Well, actually, learn has double form. It's learned with T and learned with ED. Let's use with the ED. All right, let's do the other one. Uh, the children collected 
uh, oh, Benjamin Rojas, very nice. Children collected the, the, the chestnuts that the Rojas had fallen from a tree. Very nice, had fallen from a tree. Chestnuts, what are the chestnuts, by the way? What are the chestnuts? Mm, a little bit of a clue. Um, squirrels. Squirrels like chestnuts a lot. Teacher, what is a chestnut? Bellota. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent, uh, Miss Sepulveda. Valentinax. Yes, is bellota. Yeah. Chestnut. And uh, let's continue with. Uh, teacher Natalia, teacher Natalia, this this is a question. Angie, before he went to London, very nice with Sakina, keep participating. I like that. Okay, no teacher Natalia. Had he phoned? Had he phoned Angie? Profe, se va a cortar internet. ¿Cuál, el mío o el tuyo? ¿Es una predicción? Oh, no sé, Mary. Ojalá que, sea, que no pase. And last one, number 10. She not ride horse before... And le falta algo. Yeah, there we go. Yes, there we go. Good, good, good. Al tuyo, pucha. Eh, si te conecta otra vez, te, te acepto. Hadn't ridden. Remember your verbs. Very important. Hadn't ridden. Uh, veamos cómo nos toman las oraciones. All good, all good, all good. All right. Let me tell you that this website, this website, uh, I put this website in the study materials. Um, you can find it here a lot of exercises. So it's spelling. Uh, positive, past perfect, ne negative, past perfect, questions, past perfect, mixed, and irregular verbs, practice. And also here we have a story. And here you can find two tests with the past perfect, which I probably would take some, will we'll take some activities for your test. So let me tell you before we continue that yesterday I hanged a material on Google Classroom for you to study. And also on Monday, I realized that you guys had a test with me today, in which I talked to Barbara and Barbara talked to me and Florencia talked to me first. And, and they told me that we supposed to have a test today. So I, I requested Barbara to ask you, when should we have this, the test? And Miss Barbie told me that on the 19th was the best day, all right? So we're gonna have the test on two more classes. I mean, one more class, and then we're gonna have the test. And we're gonna finish perfectly. But for now, all the material is now available. Uh, let me connect the computer, sorry. All right, um, I said on the 16th and we'll be ready for that test. Sorry, on the 19th. But the material is already in the website. I put it here in materials, unit number four. I put the videos from the week, right? October 26th and this week I have to put the new videos. And there you have all the material to study, right? Here's the vocabulary. And uh, I'm going to include some listening. And I'm going to send the listening to Barbara the day before the test, OK? And also, I included uh, some activities and some materials. And also a video about the past perfect. Did you see it? Did you see the material, people? Hello? <gasps> no. 
Hello? Yes, thank you. Okay, good. So that material is available for you to study. Everything is here, so just have a look. And at the end of this week, I'm gonna put the video classes of this week, okay? Very organized for your test, I need that. Good, so bye-bye. And let's carry on then. So, after we have checked on that, we're gonna move to a bit of a listening activity. A listening activity. Mm. All right, this one. My question is, did we finish this one? Did we do this one? Oh my God, no. We check on this one, that was true. This is the one on... Ah, sorry. Did we do this one? People? Pas and that, that no. No, we didn't do, we didn't do this one. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, Mary Jesus is traveling. Wow, wow. What a dedicated student. That's good. That's good. All right, let's let, let's finish it quickly, please. Can we do it? Just to refresh the past perfect again. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna call quickly some people or people people just write on the chat the answers. So let's have a look. It says, uh, when I try to phone them, sorry, when I try to phone them, nobody answered. They go swimming. Participation in the chat. Let's go. Something happened before I called, obviously. Anyone? They yes. had all gone swimming. They had all gone swimming. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, they changed so much, I almost didn't know who was uh, what he was when I saw him last night. Uh -huh. He had changed so much. She couldn't phone me because she, her mobile. Well, that happens, yeah, that's true. She, number three, she, she had lost. Had lost, had thank lost. you. Thank you, participation, very nice. She had lost. Se había perdido el teléfono, por eso no me llamó. Primer evento, se le perdió el teléfono. Segundo, no me pude llamar. Somebody steal John's car. So he was very angry. Yeah, of course. I'll be so upset. Had, had stolen. stolen. Had stolen, very nice. Uh, Claire had no idea I was coming to see her. Her mom to tell her. Had forgotten. Had forgotten, yes. Forgotten. All right, double D. Forgotten. Uh, Can we use forgot? No, because forgot is the past simple. It doesn't work. Um, so, Flo, for example, my recommendation is that you. Okay, let's go back to activity. I'm going to show you this in a bit. Uh, it's past simple. Forgot. Forgot. Forgotten is the PP. And when you use past perfect, you need the PP verb. Uh, they had already left. Thank you, Valentina. You arrived late. They had already late. You got to tarde, sabían ido. Good. Her mom, any money, so she couldn't buy the tickets. Had gave. Given. Yeah, but hadn't given. Hadn't given in any money. And this is the question. Had had already. Who can say with a good pronunciation? Return. Return. Yes. So they already returned. All of them are good. So this is the end of the review of the past perfect. Uh, next week, we're going to finish with it. So, this was on the page number, well, I'll close the book, anyways. 
All right, so uh, what I was saying, Flo, is that with the past perfect, we use PP verbs. So here, you have irregular verbs. And here you have a lot of activities with all the verbs. Okay, so the activities are here. Okay. Different levels of activities. So my recommendation is if you have difficulties with the regular verb, irregular verbs, do it. Okay. Any anyone can have issues with the irregular verbs. I'm not saying that. It's just you. All of, all of us have problems with them. So there you go. It's a really good website if you want to practice stuff. All right, let's continue. Now I'm going to share with you um, my listening activity that I created. Give me a second. I'm going to share you a link and share with you a link and please click it and we will be doing this activity together. It's called the importance of hobbies. All right, and let me assign it. Let me put the one thing and it's for the 10th grade mm. uh, go live change the skin with the student projector and tell the students to open it Okay, let's do it together. Um, all right. Let's go live. All right. Uh, ch -ch -ch. This is the link. Open the link I'm sending you. By Alvaro Guerra. No, this hold the meeting. This link. So please open that link. And I think then you have to click on tenth grade. Uh, el código is dag. Vimos que es lo que está el último. Avísenme si alguien le sale. Yo nunca he ocupado esta aplicación antes, así que por favor. ¿Alguien pudo entrar? Oh. Oh. Les dejo ponerse nicknames. Happy Orange. Ah, uh, es un buen nombre. Happy Orange. I couldn't put a name. No, pero podía elegir como un... Uh, so you could choose a nickname instead. Right? Because I, I don't have, know. I'm in the phone. Are you on the phone? Because yes. here I can see people joining uh, with different names. For example, Happy Orange, Speedy Orange, Tiny Passion Fruit. No name? No, I think, teacher. I think it's automatic. But are you in? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think it's automatic. Yes. Yes, we are waiting for you to go live. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna go live in a bit. I'm just waiting for more more people. Look, I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, look at this. So there you go. Gold pelican, azura amarillo, tiny brush from goofy tamarind, perinkle sloth. Gold pelican. One, two, three, four, five. I have 14 students. 14.
Okay, I have more people now, but I think it's not enough. Okay. La vamos a tirar. La vamos a tirar nomás, ¿ya? Yeah? Is that okay? Is that okay, people? People? Hello? Yes, I think so. What yeah. we do have to do? Okay, what we're going to do is we watch the video and in the video there will be some questions. Okay, some questions you have to answer them and other questions you need to select a choice. Okay, let's go. Primera vez que lo cubos. This is the first time, so let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. Now, my question is, how do you see it? Do you see well? I don't see it, teacher. Me parece this video assignment is playing light on the projector screen. Me parece Ah, and the projector screen. Same. The projector screen en eh, mi pantalla de Zoom, parece. Yes. Uh, uh, Esta, ¿no? Así. Y les van a salir las preguntas a ustedes. Ah, ya, ya. Veamos, veamos cómo sale. A ver. Ahora pueden ver el video que estoy tirando. Yep, but in some, in Zoom. In Zoom, ok. Les va a tirar las preguntas aparte, en el otro lado. Cuando aparezca. Veamos, a ver. Eh, ahí va. Society. We consume way more than we produce. And that's why I'm making coffee right now. For those of you that don't know, I was a barista for about a year. To this day, it was one of the most enjoyable jobs I've ever had, and I've fallen in love with coffee ever since. Que nada, no lo subtilo. Click, click for the settings. Yeah, I feel it. The process of making coffee allows me to start my day off by producing. It's rewarding, it's engaging, and it's fun. And most importantly, it's a hobby. Which brings me to the intro of this video. Did you get a question? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. Why do you think having a hobby is important? That's my question. Two or twenty-one answered. Oh, yeah, me está diciendo que están respondiendo. Okay. I would say hope it's important. You can get distracted. You can learn things. You can oh, okay. Oh, the cat. It's a cat. Six, ready? Okay, good. Can you share some of the questions with me, like orally? 
I mean, on some of the answers? Question. Why do you think it's important to have a hobby? Hello. All right, let's continue. We have to send you the right answer, right? I think so. They said you can write there and then you can send send it, right? Because here it says two out of twenty one answered. Dos de veintiuno. O sea, doce de veintiuno. Twelve out of twenty one answered. It's the waiting for your classmate to respond. Okay. So the other people are taking too long. So let's continue. All right. Next question. Debate. Uh, and then I can see. Okay, so, all ah, right, good, nice, good thing. Because hobbies allow you to distress yourself, you can learn new things, it can help you with your self-esteem. Ah, that's good, nice. Helps you relax and clear your mind. Help you to be relaxed and entertained so it can be good for your mental health. Excellent. Can you relax your hobby, have fun doing it? Because it's a nice way to entertain yourself and learn something, you clear your mind and release the stress. It relaxes you, distracts you. It's a good de-stressor. Uh, you, can, you can relax, uh, do something and like during the day. I think a hobby is important. You need activity to spend your free time. Yes, get relaxed and enjoy. Mm -hmm. You can get distracted from your chores. Yeah, that's right. I can distract myself from the world. That's, that's another one. That's good. So by definition, a hobby is an activity done regularly in one's leisure time for pleasure. This includes... Okay, so leisure time refers to what? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It seems like we have like 13 students participating. The others are not four, 14. We don't have many students connected. Leisure time, leisure time, leisure. Leisure time. All right, let's continue. Let's see what you have. Uh, spare time, that's correct. Spare time, 75% spare time. So your leisure time is your spare time. Uh, leisure, this includes any. Leisure in Spanish is ocio, okay? Leisure or idle time. Let's continue. Anything, both productive and unproductive activities. 
Despite the point I made in the intro regarding consumption, unproductive hobbies are not inherently a bad thing, such as playing video games. It's a great way to wind down and to have really fond memories with your friends. Some of my favorite memories are in video games, which turned out to be a huge passion of mine. I grew up playing them and I still continue to dedicate time at the end of my day to playing them or to watch a movie, both of which are very therapeutic and can calm your mind down after a day of hard work. It's nice to reward yourself with a piece of art to take in and examine or to just have a good time if you don't view film and gaming that way. Which is okay. But what about productive hobbies? I want to... All right. Next question. In your opinion, why unproductive hobbies like gaming or watching a film or a series are beneficial? By the way, that's a good movie. I think 1917 is called. Yeah, I think so. 1917, yes. It's really, really good. All right, all right, some answers, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unproductive. But you know what, for example, at least with video games, well, also with films and stuff, some people get, some people earn money through it. So let's imagine these people who stream, for example. They play video games and they show it to the community. They have their channels. Uh, it's not that unproductive, to be honest, because you're producing value that other people consume. And also films. Some people watch films and they crit uh, make critics, uh, or make a review on the internet, so it's not that. Unproductive, to be honest. To learn something is unproductive or productive? Productive, productive, of course. Yes. Learning is always productive, yes. Uh, you never know when it, it's going to be of help. So I think it's productive. Absolutely. Some people decide then, you know, to use it and get some money out of it. You know, I've been thinking, for example, um, I've been like doing some streams on on Twitch and I would like to do more because it's fun, but not with a with a money target. It's just for fun, having fun, play with friends, play with students, talk with them, apart from being, you know, at, in classes, which is which isn't nice all the time. So, you know, talk to students in a nicer environment, which is gaming. So I think it's cool. Yeah, let's see the answers. So we have, because this is Strive for Busy Day, don't have to use the body. Yes, that's true. 
have fun and distress, distress, get distracted from your job or routine, opens your mind. Yes, absolutely. Distress. Stability. How it make you feel in the comfort zone. I agree with that. You can, yes, Barbara. I want to talk about the state of mind you can achieve called the flow state. It's basically just being in the zone, a mental state in which a person performing activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of an activity. This state emerges a lot of passion from you once you reach it. Tash Sultana has an album titled Flow State to emphasize the feeling you get once you're in it, which is also one of my favorite albums, by the way. You can achieve this state through activities that fully involve you. Drawing, writing, music, reading, and a lot more can put you in it. They're all forms of creative expression. And plus, now is a perfect time to discover yourself and figure out what you like doing. We all have a lot of time in our hands staying stuck at home. All right, so this is easy. So the concept of flow state refers to what? Being completely engaged with what you're doing or being completely aware of what you're doing. So we have two verbs and preposition, engaged with and aware of. Do you have any questions about any word there? Good. All right, let's continue. So this is easy. Uh, so you guys marked, oh, sorry, here. Ah, oh, completely, it's completely engaged. What the, what's the meaning of engaged? If you're engaged with something. Comprometido? Yes, you're engaged. Comprometido, como dispuesto a, and aware. What's the meaning of being aware of? Something. Consciente. Consciente, yes. So, for example, in this case, the flow state is being completely engaged. Like you, you start doing something, and then everything flows, and you, you continue, and it's enjoyable, it's fun. Have you ever felt in that way? No. No? Uh, yes. Yeah, I felt it too especially when making music it's like it's good it's good fun or Me reading too. sometimes reading and uh, reading making notes or also studying it's good let's see and let's hope that Nachira gets there anytime so why not try something new you may find out you really enjoy an activity you always wanted to get good at or find out you don't actually enjoy it you'll figure yourself out and potentially find a new purpose in life or feel more fulfilled so when someone asks you the question, what do you like to do for fun? Now you're not left awkwardly thinking about what to say. Now you can confidently answer that question. You don't have to stick to an individual hobby as well. We live in a society where it's encouraged a lot more to be a jack of all trades type. At least that's- All right, so we have a new concept. Uh, that probably we've mentioned it before. Uh, jack of all trades is a job idiom that refers to someone who can focus perfectly on one task well, someone who, someone who can do many tasks with ease. What's the meaning of ease? Facilidad. Facilidad, Nachira. Very nice, Nachira. There you go. I remember this word very well because it was in, it was in a test at university, and um, we were we were checking on the word forms, and then I had the adjective easy. 
and then they asked me the noun and i was like what's the noun of easy it's like easiness and i remember that i had that wrong because i never i could never remember it because i didn't know so then after that the teacher told me it's ease and i was like oh and we're talking about a long time ago ease so some people are really good at things and they do things with ease all right we have answers let's check so most of you mentioned is can do tasks with ease so a jack of all trades is someone that can do many things really well that's how i identify why not obtain a multitude of skills get creative journaling is really rewarding to me so i wanted to expand on that being from bulgaria i wanted to never forget the language so i searched for a language guide online unfortunately i was unable to find one and resorted to creating my own for personal usage i wrote down lots of information i accumulated online and so far it's a long way from being finished but it only cost me five dollars on top of my art supplies i had the process of creating it was rewarding and was a lot of fun even working out as a hobby a lifestyle choice for sure but you may find out you actually have an internal passion for fitness and for pushing yourself you're investing in yourself in a similar way to reading a book it's stimulation for your body and your soul and it may also carry through and you might realize you enjoy eating healthy or you just want to experiment with cooking as well just put yourself out there and you'll see opportunities unfold in front of you try that new thing you've always wanted to do youtube is a hobby too sharing knowledge is always fun in conclusion loading up on hobbies are a big form of self-development and can make you a more interesting person the satisfaction from finishing a productive task is a natural high you can ride into a more fulfilling life we undermine their importance don't let anyone else judge you and if you do you'll just create internal resistance and not accomplish your goals in life so get out there learn more about yourself and grow as a person you'll never know where it will take you without trying thanks for watching guys i really hope this video inspires you all right this is the last question i like the mug it's really cool dust data C3PO, Boa Fett, Yoda, uh, Luke, Stormtrooper, Chewbacca, Leia Organa, and Ben Kenobi. I want to see your thoughts on the last thing. Or you can give it to me orally. So what advice can you take from him? Anyone else? Only two people. interesting on cyber monday black friday whatever it was called monday cyber monday i think it was called did you get anything interesting or did you see anything interesting nope oh barbie just mentioned that watching a film is not unproductive because you can learn a new language if it is a, if, if it is in a different language so yeah absolutely 
I agree. All right, let's see some answers. Let's see some answers so we can close the class. Let's see. Boba Fred. Boba Fred. A silent voice. Oh, wait, let me see the, the poster. A silent voice. A silent voice. Ah, it's an anime movie, man. No, no, I haven't watched it. Wow, has very good critics. 98% of the people liked this movie. Well, that's, that's a lot, to be honest. That's a lot. It's pretty sad. Well, I don't want to watch sad movies now, man. But, I'll, yeah, you know what? I will watch it eventually because I've, I've been watching this Ghibli studio films and some of them are sad. Yeah, let's see your answers. All right. To dedicate time to hobbies and assume good things in for everything. Yes, sometimes parents make, make us feel bad. Like, oh, you're playing the guitar all day. Why don't you study? Or they say, for example, oh, you're playing video games all day. And why are you always reading? All those kind of th stuff. So, make things that you want without caring about other people's opinions and comments yes and to spend time with yourself that's the other thing that when you do a hobby or when you have a hobby and you perform it you kind of discover yourself i think that's one of the most important things you discover yourself you discover the things you like so it's, it's really important to have one when people say my hobby is sleeping and say like when you sleep, you're unconscious, so you're not kind of, you're not getting to know yourself. There are other things that do, like reading or watching a film or, or practicing any sport or cycling, whatever. But in those things, when you're conscious. All right, people. So uh, we didn't have time to go through the vocabulary, but we'll go next class. It was a pleasure to have you. You participated grandly and appreciate your time. Um, so next class, we have that one. I'm going to give you also material to study. And, but for sure, in the classroom, you have material there that you can do to study. Uh, let me see. Do I send you homework? No, you have tests the next week, right? You have two tests. Jonas mentioned. Yeah, I think so. You have to test. All right, people, so I'll see you next time. Take good care, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye send, me, send me the League of Legends thing. Bye, teacher. Yeah. Take I'll care. Bye-bye. Jonas. Jonas. Yes, teacher, you have to uh, send me your idea to I get that. I get that. Bye, teacher. Bye. Creo que es así, o oh, creo que es así, uno de los dos, no sé.